Hello everyone, this is NAI here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create this triangle geometric figure in Affinity. I am working in the latest version of Affinity and in the Vector Persona, what was previously known as Affinity Designer. Alright, so to get started we go to File New and we create a new composition. We give it A3, and then we're going to add horizontal and vertical center guides to the composition. So we go to View, Guides, and we add horizontal and vertical center guides. And then we're going to start drawing the figure. So this figure is made of the intersections of equilateral triangles. So first we're going to draw an equilateral triangle. So the way to do this is we take the polygon tool and we set the number of sides to three. So this gives us equilateral triangles. And then, while holding Ctrl and Shift to expand from the center and keep the one-to-one -one proportions, we go ahead and we create an equilateral triangle of about this size. And then we're going to set the stroke to known and the fill to black. And then we're going to duplicate and rotate it. So we are going to need overall six triangles. So we press on Enter to bring out the Move Duplicate panel. We check on duplicate and we set the number of copies to five and we set the rotation to 20 degrees and we click on okay and this gives us this figure and then we're going to keep only the intersections of the triangles so we select all the triangles and then we take the shape builder tool here we set the drag method to freehand and clean up to none and we click on this intersection here this intersection here and this intersection here so all these three intersections and then in the layers panel we select everything that remains from the triangles and we delete them so now we should have only these three shapes the intersection of the triangles and we press on ctrl g to group them together and then we go here move tool settings and we'll click on Enable Transform Origin. So this allows us to set the rotation center where we want it. So we are going to set it in the middle of the composition. We press on Enter to bring out the Move Duplicate panel. We check on Duplicate and we are going to need 18 copies overall. So we set the number of copies to 17. And the rotation angle to 20. And we'll click on OK. So this gives us the figure. So now we have completed the figure and I'll give you one last tip. If you want to add a bit of spacing between the objects, we select everything and then we go to the contour tool. We set it to meter and we are going to decrease the spacing. So I will set it to minus 0.1. And as you can see, this gives us a bit of spacing between the objects. Alright, so that was it for this tutorial. You learned how to create this triangle geometric figure in Affinity. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!